Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun video. I'm going to be going over my tanning routine with you guys. I get asked so often like what tanning products I use, which ones I like the best, which ones work, which ones don't work, when I tan, how often do I tan, just like my full tanning routine. So I thought it'd be really fun to make this video. So I'm gonna show you guys which products I use. I'm gonna walk you guys through the process of how I do tan. Um, I have been doing this for a long time. I am the type of person where I don't really like sitting out in the sun or anything. I am extremely pale. Let me pop up a photo right here. This is before I put on the tanner. So I am so extremely pale that like I get sunburned like that and I don't want skin cancer. So I like to use just tanning lotions in order to keep my skin from being fluorescent and see-through. I'm all about being confident and you should be confident too, so do things that make you feel confident. All right, so I'm gonna go through my whole tanning process with you guys from start to finish today. I'm gonna share with you all the products and all my favorite products that I like to use. If you like this type of video, please give it a thumbs up so I know, and if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button so you never miss a video with me, and let's get tanning. So first things first, you need to hop in the shower, shave, and exfoliate your entire body. So if you are a frequent tanner, you tan every week or so, you wanna try to get as much of your tanner off as possible, but you wanna exfoliate your entire skin, really scrub. I literally come out so red when I <laughs> exfoliate my body. I just wanna make sure that my skin is smooth, I get all the dead skin off, and then also I shave just because I don't really like shaving when I do have tanner on because it makes it come off a lot quicker. I usually just use an exfoliator scrub with my loofah, but you can get like an exfoliator mitt or anything like that, but that is step number one. Step number two is going to be you need to moisturize the driest part of your body. So your elbows, your hands, your knees, and your feet. Um, I would get a fragrance-free moisturizer. This is just a fragrance-free lotion. Um, this is my favorite one, it's so soft. Um, and I just put a little bit, not a lot, just on the top of my hands, my elbows, and my feet. And then sometimes my knees, um, just to make sure the tan doesn't get all weird and uneven in those places. Okay, so we're gonna go into step number three. So there is two ways you can do this. One, whenever I wanna be like super tan right away, just wanna get it done, put it on once and have the tan develop right away. I use this Loving Tan Silux Bronzing Mousse. I love this stuff. I use the color dark. Um, there is medium, and it's medium, dark, and ultra dark. I would always start, if you have really fair skin like I do, always start with the medium. You can always build the tan on top of it. They have two. They have this one, which you have to keep on for like six to eight hours, so I normally just put this one on before bed and let it develop overnight. Or there is a two-hour express mousse as well. I used all of that one, so we don't have the bottle here today. <laughs> but um, the two hour one is great. If you are going somewhere in a couple of hours and you wanna put a little bit of tan on, the two hour express is amazing. They just released a new product, which I am so stoked about. There is two different purposes for this product. So this is the Deluxe Gradual Tan. They come in three colors, light, medium, and dark. So essentially what this does is you can use it one of two ways. If you wanna gradually build a tan, this is a lotion. So you can just put it on every night before bed um, and you can continuously build your tan like every single day until you get to the preferred color. Or if you want to extend your tan up to three weeks, you can put this on top of your tan. So say you do this one night and you wanna continuously build it or keep it on um, for as long as possible, you can just continuously use the deluxe gradual tan over your actual tan. So then if you, you know, sometimes you get splotchy in between your elbows or on your neck, on your chest, if you just go over those spots with this deluxe gradual tan, it will put more tanner on here so then it goes away. This is a game changer. I am all about this. Or you can never go wrong with getting both. They're both amazing. So now that you've picked out which one that you want to use, I recommend getting a applicator mitt. Um, these things are life-changing. They do not make your hands turn orange. Sometimes if you were just to put this product on your hand, Indy, Indy wants to say hi apparently. If you just put the product straight on your hand, your palms are gonna be so orange. So definitely get an applicator mitt. 
They are incredible. I always start with my lower body and work my way up. So with your legs, I usually do like one, I usually do one and a half pumps for my lower legs. Um, so what I do is I usually just pump it on the mitt and then I put it on my legs and I move in a circular motion. This is key. The thing about this bronzing mousse is you can actually see it as it's going onto your body so you can kind of see where you're putting the solution. Um, but the key is going in a circular motion so then you can really even it out through your skin. This product has honestly never given me streaks and I firmly believe it's because I do um, put it on in circular motions. Once I get my like calves and my lower half of my leg, I do the upper part of my leg. Um, I always leave my feet in my hands for last because I just use the remaining product on the mitt. So same thing with the upper leg. I put the solution on my thighs first and then I work my way towards the back of my leg. And then also don't forget about your knees because you don't want white knees. Make sure you rub it into your knees as well because that's going to be really important. Um, but yeah, I just like to do my lower half first so then it dries and then I work my way up to my stomach area. Like I said before, make sure it's always circular motions. You can see the product as it's going onto your skin, which is amazing. All right, and then before I do my chest and my arms, I always like to do my back because your back is going to be the hardest part, especially if you're doing it by yourself. It took me a while to really master getting my own back. If you have a boyfriend, a roommate, a mom, a friend, anyone who can do your back for you, I highly recommend having them do it for you because it's a lot easier. So I always start with my lower back. I work my way up to my upper back. Your arms are pretty flexible. If you have to like pull your arm a little bit like this really to get in there and get your upper back, you, you go for it. You get that. There's going to be like one spot about this big in the middle of your back that you probably can't get, but it's totally fine. Your sports bra covers it up. So you're good. Um, so I usually do about two pumps for my lower back and then I do, um, I do one pump for this side and then one pump for this side and I just honestly like pull my arm like this and I really get it, um, get it all evenly coated on my back. But like I said, having someone do it for you is a lot easier. So if you have someone to do it, go for it. If not, that's totally fine. I don't really care if it's not absolutely perfect. If there's a little white spot, it is what it is. Okay, so then I do my chest area, pretty much same as always, just you wanna do circular motions all the way through your chest. I usually do one pump for one side of my chest and then the other side I'll do a pump as well. So with your arms, obviously if you turn your arm over on this side, it is a lot lighter than the upper part of your arm. So I always put the product on the top of my arm first and then I rub it down towards the bottom of my arm. So then it's evenly coated and it's not as dark on the bottom of my arm as it is on the top. Don't forget to really rub underneath your armpits too. No one's got time to have really white armpits. So make sure you bring some of the excess product through your armpits as well. And then last but not least is your face. So I always just take the excess amount of product and I put it on my face. This product has never broken me out or anything like that. So I just take the mitt after I'm done with my whole body. I rub it on my face. I'll rub it on my hands like this, switch hands, and then also the top of my feet. So I never actually put product back on the mitt to do my face, my hands, or my feet. I found that the leftover product on the mitt has been completely fine. There's more than enough to get my hands, my feet, and my face. Okay, so once you're done, this one right here, like I said, this one you have to like keep on for six to eight hours before showering. Honestly, I probably keep it on for like 24 hours before showering. Um, I like to just let it soak into my skin for as long as possible. Um, so the same with the two hour deluxe, like if it's, even though it says two hours, it's still staying on my body for way longer than that. If you are planning on working out within those 24 hours, I definitely would recommend you hopping in the shower before and just like rinsing it off with just water before you work out. I usually put this on kind of around my workout schedules. Kind of sounds crazy, but I do. Um, I never really put it on right before the day before a really sweaty, heavy leg day or sweaty workout. It's usually either going on before a rest day or it's going on before like an upper body day when I don't really sweat that much. Now that it's fully developed on your skin, you should definitely shower. Um, at some point, whenever you want, whenever you feel comfortable with it. Um, 
I always recommend your first shower should be a rinsing shower only. Do not wash, do not use soap, do not do anything. Just rinse off your body and then you're gonna get out of the shower. Make sure you pat yourself dry. Pat dry, do not rub dry, pat yourself dry. And then you're gonna put on your fragrance-free lotion literally everywhere. The best way to keep your tan is to put on lotion. If you do not have this deluxe gradual tan stuff, you should definitely put on a ton of lotion like every day, like two times a day just to keep your skin soft and not dry. It'll make your tan last longer, which I'm all about having my tan last longer. And then with your second shower, you can soap down and everything like that, but I always recommend the first one should definitely be a water only shower. And then last but not least, if you want a little sparkle and shine, maybe you're going out one night, um, maybe you just wanna add a little bit more darkness to your tan, they do have this bronze shimmer. This stuff comes off in the, the next time you shower. If I'm outside, it gives me a little shimmy shimmy. So um, I really like this stuff. I recommend getting this color the same that you have in your mousse so then it matches perfectly. You don't have to worry about that. But I love this stuff too because it, it will just come right off in your next shower. These are definitely my go-to tanning products. Every single time I tan, I love this stuff. I just love it so much. Quite honestly, when you have a tan, your muscles just look better, your body just looks better, so like, why do you think I tan so much? I love this stuff. Um, so I'm gonna quickly pop up my before and after photo right here to show you the difference. I'm so happy with the way the color looks on my skin every single time. I mean, look at this. I look like I just got back from a Hawaiian vacation, which I did like two weeks ago, but you would have never been able to tell without this stuff on, you know what I mean? I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.